Okay guys, we're back. Now I've took uh, the top case off. Uh, it's pretty easy, there's no explanation. And I've loosened these bolts up. Now we're gonna go ahead and mount this guy under here. Not as easy as it thinks, I mean, it would seem. Oh, it bolts right up, no it doesn't. I actually had to drill these holes out so they matched here. <sighs> Using that little Christmas tree drill bit. I like that little bit, it's a good one. Spend money on a good bit. So. We're gonna go ahead and mount that. If you guys hear noises in the background, those are possums. I don't know what they're doing. Whatever possums do. Okay, we're gonna mount this here. Of course, it's not gonna be easy because I'm doing it live. Put that light over there in the middle. Okay, so now that I've lined these up, we're going to go ahead and tighten this up. And remember, this is all aluminum on aluminum on aluminum. Even the bolts are aluminum. They're not steel. Don't torque this down. You will strip this out. Forget it. You'll have to buy all this stuff new. They will not sell you this part. You have to buy the whole bracket. It's 350 bucks. I already found out the hard way. Be careful with that. We're going to install our light. Now, as we install our light, you guys will notice these like lines in it. Don't mount it like this. The light will shoot up and down. You want to mount it like this so you get a nice wide beam from all angles, okay? Provided hardware, of course. Now, if I was smart, I would use a little foam pad that goes in the back, but I'm not going to because I'm using something else. And I'm not going to show you in this video because it's just not that important. Guys, okay, so <clears throat> now this is my honest review on a product that I like. So being the honest review, the hardware that it come with didn't come equipped so I can get this guy in there and secure it first. So what we have to do is add this foam pad to the back. And sorry about the quality of the lighting because I was supposed to shoot this video in the day. Not 12 midnight. Gonna center that a little bit. Get her screw on. Now, this is my honest opinion on this stuff. This is, nobody's paying me. So I'm gonna tell you the way it is. No BS. And of course I'm doing this with a flashlight. So I hope everybody can see what's going on. If you guys have any questions, any doubts, leave me comments in the comment section. Does that sound down? Leave me comments in the comment section. Okay. If you guys have any questions, any doubts, you could either email me or leave me a comment. Now look, that light is secure. It's going nowhere. Okay. Now through the magic of YouTube and my impatience I've already wired down here yeah here okay I use these little um, t-taps I carefully strip these wires back very carefully take your time when doing this you don't want to score the wire inside now being that we're just running I cut all the other wires I don't need them we're not running more than six slides we're not doing anything heavy-duty nothing crazy is gonna happen here so if everything goes okay Always check these so when you slide them in, the little tabs, sometimes they tend to go to the side and then you have no contact and you think you're connected but you're actually not. Okay, so this is going to be test one. Now, this is the finish I like. It's nice and clean. It's all there. It's, I mean, you can get a little tighter. You can make it a little better. This is good enough for my purposes, okay? So let's go ahead and hit the brakes so you guys can see. It's probably blurry now. Now, the problem with that is you can't see what's going on. But with the magic paint tape, you can now see the diode flashing. So that's it, guys. That's pretty much, I'm just going to put this back together. That's not a big deal. I'm going to pause it, put the box on so you can see what it looks like from far away finished, okay? Okay, 
So this is the finished product for using one Impact 6 $20 emergency strobe light, okay? We T-tapped it, in, it into the brake wiring system. I showed you guys that. Again, if you have any questions in the comments, I will answer them, okay? Now, I'm not a professional wiring guy. I don't do this for a living. It's not my deal. So if you want to judge me and say, oh, you did that wrong, or that's not how you do it, fine. Go ahead. Leave it in the comments. I don't care. This is not my living. I should have hired a professional. I can't afford it like most other people. There it is. And boom. That'll get your attention. Okay, so that's the finished product, guys. Now, I've uh, wrapped it up. Of course, i got to put the pins in it, but just for you guys can see, this is what it's going to look like from far away, okay? So, as always, I am your host, Unit 29. Why? Because I like it. You guys ride safe. Uh, I'm going to do some other videos on some other lighting stuff I'm doing to this bike. I don't know when. I'm not going to say Monday because, honestly, my schedule is weird. Uh, I don't have time for a lot of stuff. But if you have any questions, if you have any doubts, if you have anything you want to say or add to this video, please be constructive. I'm not here for negativity. If you guys want to be negative, go to somebody else's channel. Okay, and I'll see you guys on the next one.